Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to download the Happy Cheek application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. That's an alternative app store for your Fire Stick where you can download games to your device. And there are all kinds of games for your Fire Stick. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get Happy Cheek to your device. And first of all, you'll have to get an app, Code and Loader, and you can actually get it totally for free from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device and start typing the loader in the search. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader, and that's the app that you gotta get to your device. But now, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So in order to actually stop the loader, we'll have to go to the settings on your device. So we click on that button with a gear icon. Then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And here you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need. You are already a developer. That's in my case. And your case is going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see the developer options, which now have appeared for us right here. Let's open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging. Then, you have to go to Install Unknown Apps. From here, just locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's finally go to the list of apps on your device, open up. And there's the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say we connect to Spain right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with the camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we go back to the list of apps on your device, open up the loader and wait until it loads for you. Then here on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on Home. And then in the search bar, we have to enter a code, which is going to be 98. 6, 2, 4, 2. So once again, it's 9864, sorry, 986242. That's the code. Enter it as you see, and then click on the go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as, please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot, and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website has opened for us. We just have to scroll down until we find the download options. And from here, we have to click on that Android icon. 
or perhaps only be available for Android devices. Yeah, Android button this, and now as you can see, the download has started. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on the connection speed on your device. In my case, I got a pretty fast connection, so it will not take too long. Then let's click install and wait until the happy chick gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you're using, of course. And after the app was installed, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll have an option to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device, so click on delete and then delete once again. Now finally, we'll have to go to settings actually one more time, so click on that gear icon, then go to My Fire TV, open it, go to developer options, install known apps, and this time you have to locate Happy Chick and turn that option on for the Happy Chick as well. But in some cases, as in mine for example, it might be not visible, so in that case it's fine. And now let's go just back to the app list on your device. So there it is, there's the Happy Chick that we just unloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way Happy Chick is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just then open the application, wait a bit, and from this moment you'll be able to play different games on your Fire Stick. Of course, I'd recommend connecting a Bluetooth controller, as the usual remote might be not good enough to play games. And that's it for today, hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye bye.